had the uh, the deal of the century, the uh, 181 uh, pages. I read it carefully, uh, and from what I understand, uh, the document actually calls for uh, uh, removing Hamas's rule uh, from uh, from the Gaza Strip. But whether or not the actual term in the document is removal or disarmament, uh, one has to uh, understand that if we're talking about a peace agreement, about a political agreement, uh, Hamas rejects such agreement with Israel regardless of uh, Israel's borders. And therefore, it is an oxymoron to talk about a peace agreement with Hamas because Hamas itself says it openly uh, in its founding document that it uh, denies and refuses any dealing with Israel. So I do not know how we can have a political agreement with an organization uh, that denies Israel's right, uh, very right to exist. Right. Now, so now that the Organization of Islamic Countries, they came out with this uh, meeting, the statement after a executive committee meeting where the Secretary General came out and said that the Muslim countries must unite against this plan. What is your interpretation of how this could impede any kind of progress if there was some to be expected on this? Well, the reality is that behind those uh, official statements, uh, there are different uh, voices without the Arab world and, without, and within the, uh, the Muslim world. Uh, there is actually a divide with countries such as Iran uh, and its proxies in the region that lead the opposition not only to the deal but also to the United States and to Israel in general. On the other hand, you have uh, countries that are much closer to Israel and to the U.S., uh, such as Jordan, such as Egypt, two countries which have, in fact, a peace agreement with Israel. By the way, now it also includes uh, Sudan. Who would have thought a country whose uh, leader met with Israel's prime minister uh, a week ago uh, in Uganda? So uh, behind those official statements, there are actually many different voices and different stances within the Arab world and within the Muslim world. Mm -hmm. Now speaking